Hello creative friends, Kara Pliginich here for Creative Pro and today I'm going to show you the mock-up feature in Illustrator. So here I have a little logo and this is just a placed JPEG that features a couple of different packaging options. These both just come from Adobe Stock's free collection. So creating a mock-up is as simple as selecting the vector logo or whatever it is you want to mock up and selecting the photo you want to mock it up to. And then we need to open the mock-up panel. So we find that under window, mock-up. Now there are a number of presets here. And we can take a look at those in a minute, but most of the time, I imagine you'd probably want to be using your own images. So with those two items selected, we can click Create Mockup. Now it's gonna take a minute, it's gonna analyze the image. And this appears to be terrible at the moment, but all we need to do is click and drag it around and you can see it moving around the different surfaces. It also has to do with the size. So I think that I had this logo rather large in my document here, so it's coming in huge. So to scale it down, I'm just going to shift and drag in from one of those points, and you can see now it fits much better. So as I drag it around, and we zoom in here, as we drag it around, you can see that it adjusts to take on the contours of the package, which is pretty cool. So let's say that we're happy with this. Now maybe we, we also want to put the logo over here on this package. We can do that by just Option or Alt clicking and dragging to make a copy. And we can move it around this package. So maybe we want it to wrap around the edge. I can't imagine you'd want to do that with your text on a logo, but you can see how it's reading the surface, which is pretty cool. Maybe we wanna scale this one up a little bit. Maybe we wanna rotate it. And maybe this one's gonna wrap around on the right like this. So that is pretty cool. So what does this create here? So if we select this, we can see up here in the top left that Illustrator refers to this as a mock-up now. So it behaves kind of like a group. So if you ever have trouble getting in here and selecting the actual logo, you might just need to double click and then you can grab the item. And then just like in a group to get out of the mock-up item, I'm just going to press escape to back out of it. So that's awesome. If we want to export this and send it to a client, let's say, I'm just going to right click. There's a number of ways you can do this, but I like this option. Right click and choose export selection. And we can tell it, you know, what kind of file format we want. I'll just choose JPEG, throw it on the desktop. If I want to name it, then I'm going to click here and we'll just call it Moody Moth Mockup. And we'll click Export. And here it is now on the desktop. So that's pretty cool. And then if we want to then release this, we can either come up here and click Release Mockup, or in the Mockup panel, there is a Release button. And then I could select the graphic and get rid of it. You'll see now I have two instances of the logo on my clipboard so I can choose to keep them or delete them or whatever. Now there are some presets in the mock-up panel. So they're organized by categories. So we have apparel, branding graphics. So maybe I wanna throw this on this tote bag here. I can select it, select the tote bag image. We'll click preview. It's actually gonna throw it on all of them, so that's kind of nice. And then if we wanna put this on our canvas, we can click Place on Canvas, and then here we see a large version of that, and we can still move this around. And we'll, you'll notice that it selects the bag, so it knows the difference between the bag and her elbow, for example. That is kind of neat. So there's a number of different categories. One of them here is called Your Mockups. So this is an image that I added to this. If let's say you design a lot of vinyl album covers, maybe you want something like this. So let's walk through how we would do that super quick. I'm just gonna go uh, back to file. I'll choose place. 
Here's this image I had earlier. So I'm gonna place this one again. This worked nicely. And again, we'll create the mock-up. Again, it looks goofy, but it's very quick and easy to adjust. All right, so let's say we like this then. We can add this to the mock-ups. We'll just click the little plus button here. And it's not gonna let us do it because we currently have two vector pieces here. Maybe that'll change in the future. I guess we can pick one of these to delete and then we can click the plus button and then it's gonna add this as a template. And that means that if we release this and we get rid of this, now we can just keep this here. So this is stored under your mockups. And now uh, we can just preview it really quickly like that. So this just becomes kind of part of the presets in here. So if you have the same mockups you use a lot, that can be really handy. So this tool is really quick. It makes it quick and easy to throw a mockup together. It's not perfect. Certainly not as you don't have as much control as you would in Photoshop, at least not right now, but it is really handy to be able to throw this together quickly and easily from right within Illustrator. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.